What's going on, guys? I am here. Uh, this video is to showcase my camper van. So I'm going to do a little walk around, show you some of its features. So this is a 2005 GMC Express cargo van extended wheelbase. Um, I believe it has a 4.3 liter engine. And some of the highlights on the outside that I'm going to go over first is I have a roof rack with a canopy. So this canopy folds out. There's some legs. That way I can um, be underneath some cover. And then if you notice right here above the door, there's some cameras. So there's four cameras. There's one on each side, one on the front inside the windshield. And then I bought off of Amazon a third tail light that has a camera embedded. So we've got four external cameras that I'll show you in a minute. Then I have a backup camera that I added. And as you can see coming out, this is a small window AC unit. So let's go to the cab first. And out here you'll also notice a TV bracket because I do hang a TV once I am where I want to be with everything extended out. So let's look at the driver's side. So we have a privacy curtain here, got a dash cam as well as the regular camera and this is the four uh, views of the camera. So we got front, back, left side and right side. We've got a desktop, a desk that comes from the seat post. And right now my battery is at 12.8. So this is right now operating on a battery inside, which I'll show you in a second. But I also have an outlet input here that I can hook up to shore power. So now we're going to open up the inside. So I have Let's start here first. So I got this little rack. It's 36 inches by 14 inches and I've secured it with zip ties and starting from the ground up. So I have a fridge, mini fridge, along with my Blue Eddy uh, power source. So this is a 2000 watt hour battery. So it's been running and as you can see it's at 91%. So this is capable of powering all of the appliances. Uh, now, depending on what I run, I run things selectively because I want to make sure that my battery lasts as long as possible. So I have this little mini fridge here. I have some drinks in. Got a little Bluetooth speaker, microwave, coffee maker my paper towel dispenser and then up here I have some forks coffee uh, sweetener and then just some miscellaneous stuff up here and then I have a twin XL bed and this wedge just kind of helps me to stay up top I got LED lights with a little bit of insulation on the roof I did hang a TV that is Wi-Fi. It is a Roku TV. And you can see there is the um, there is the air conditioning. And I've got some storage here. Those are pretty much uh, extension cords as well as a toolbox, some cones, a fan. And then I've got my chair along with a 10 by 10 tent. And then because I take this to the track, 
I try to, I bring a table as well as this drum pan. And this is the remote to the outside TV, which I will bring in in a minute. So yeah, this has been, I mean, it's pretty much an apartment in wheels. Um, this little Blue Eddy will power things. I mean, it'll power the microwave, it'll power the coffee maker, have to run things one at a time. Uh, I can charge it from when the car is on, and then I can charge it once sole po uh, shore power is connected. So I have a transfer switch. It's an automatic transfer switch. Super handy when there is no uh, shore power, then it's going to pretty much um, operate on the bat on the Blue Eddy. When there is shore power, the shore power then will operate everything else automatically, and um, yeah, so it'll it'll it won't it'll also recharge the Blue Eddy. Uh, so I love the transfer switch. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little van tour. I'm going to try to put together a list of where I got everything at. Um, I do have some parasitic um, charges or some parasitic, uh, I guess, I can't find the words for it, but parasitic drains on the battery. So I have this little Noku that is connected to the um, to a power strip that's behind this Blue Eddy. So you can probably see it here. And then under here, I just have some storage for my jack, air compressor, another chair, uh, just some other things, drill. But the parasitic drain um, I don't know yet. I have a haven't found out exactly how to stop that, but I do have a way that I can charge the battery from in here. So this outlet is always on, and all I got to do is remove that, and then I have this, which is coming from the Noku. So this connects here and it'll start to, uh, it'll start to charge the battery. So if I put it on 12 volt, probably not a good idea that I'm charging it from my um, Blue Eddy. So I'm just gonna turn this back off and then take this out and keep it here on the ready. So this, I can take off and move it to the back so I can put it up there and look at it from when I'm inside. So anyways, thanks for visiting. Hopefully this wasn't too long. See you around.